Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. In the last video, we created VMware Customer Connect account and downloaded ESXi 6.5. This video defines what is ESXi hypervisor and will also demonstrate how to install ESXi 6.5 hypervisor on VMware Workstation Pro. VMware ESXi, also called VMware ESXi Server, is a bare metal hypervisor developed by VMware. ESXi is one of the primary components in the VMware infrastructure software suite. ESXi is a Type 1 hypervisor, meaning it runs directly on system hardware without the need for an OS. Type 1 hypervisors are also referred to as bare metal hypervisors because they run directly on hardware. Hypervisors help run multiple VMs efficiently on a physical server. ESXi is installed directly on a local disk in the host machine. When a VM kernel receives a resource request, the kernel sends the request to the host's physical hardware. Before ESXi, VMware offered the ESX hypervisor, which consisted of more parts, such as the console OS and firewall. VMware released ESXi after VMware ESX version 4.1 in 2010. As of today, ESXi 8.0 is the most current version. ESXi hosts are licensed based on vSphere licenses, and each vSphere license has a specific capacity for licensing multiple physical CPUs on ESXi hosts. VMware ESXi effectively partitions hardware to consolidate applications and cut costs. It's the industry leader for efficient architecture, setting the standard for reliability, performance, and support. Now, let's continue and install ESXi 6.5 on VMware Workstation Pro. Open VMware Workstation Pro and start with, create a new VM machine. Define the path of downloaded ESXi 6.5 ISO. Make sure the guest operating system is selected as VMware ESX and the version according to your ESXi selection. Give the machine a meaningful name. Select the disk file type and size. I recommend leaving some extra storage if you're planning to install VCSA, vCenter Server Appliance, on the same ESXi host. We will discuss VCSA in the coming videos. Configure and assign resources as per your available resources. Make sure virtualization options are checked under processors. You can make network selections as per your lab need. We also add three additional network adapters, which we configure later as standard and VDS, virtual distributed switches, 4V motion, ICE CASI, and production network traffic. It's good practice to keep notes of your machine under description. We are now ready to power on and install our ESXi 6.5 machine. Wait for the machine to load the initial processes. Hit enter to continue. Press F11 to accept and continue. Hit enter to continue. Make selection of language and enter to continue. Enter a strong password and the password must be kept secure. Press F11 to start installation. Detach installation media before restarting the machine.
our ESXi installation is now complete. We press F2 to customize basic configurations before start using it. Type the password which you defined during installation. The first thing we configure is the management network, where we can define static IPv4 IP, disable IPv6 if needed and also define the domain DNS and domain suffix. Press escape key to exit and hit yes to save modified configurations. Machine will restart again to apply changes. We can now access our ESXi web console through the assigned hostname or IP. Your web explorer machine must be on the same network as ESXi. You will get a connection warning due to no secure certificate installed for ESXi on your device. Click Advanced and continue to the web address. Type default username as root and password that you defined during installation. You can uncheck VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program and hit OK. We have successfully installed our ESXi 6.5 server. You get 60-day trial from the date of installation before the ESXi license gets expired. We can now explore multiple options and services offered by VMware to get benefits from ESXi. In the next video, I will show you some initial ESXi configurations. Till then, take care and make sure to like and subscribe to get new video updates.